In this video, we're finally pulling back the curtains and giving you a behind the scenes look at the Zero to Mastery Discord server, which is one of the biggest and fastest growing private online communities for developers, programmers, and engineers. Hi there, I'm Matt, one of the community managers here at Zero to Mastery. Every week, we get messages from students telling us that the Zero to Mastery Discord is one of the best parts of their experience and how it's been an essential part of their success in learning to code, getting hired and taking their career to the next level. Since the Zero to Mastery community is private, it's hard for new students to know if everything we're saying is just a bunch of BS or if it's the real deal. So that's why I'm here today to give you a quick little tour and show you what it's all about and let you decide for yourself. If you want to skip ahead to a different section, check out the timestamps in the description below. But here's a quick high level overview of what we're going to cover today. First, what's the point of the Zero to Mastery community? And why does it even exist? Second, I'm going to quickly answer the question some of you might be thinking. What the heck is a Discord server? And give you a brief history on why Zero to Mastery Community Classroom uses Discord. And third, we'll log into the Zero to Mastery Discord server and I'll show you what it's all about and give you a quick little tour. And then lastly, I'll show you the different member types, who they are and what they do. So before we jump right into the Zero to Mastery Discord server, why does it even exist? Well, here at ZDM, we feel strongly that the Zero to Mastery Discord is a super important part of the learning experience, and it greatly increases the chances for students to achieve their goals. Why you ask? Well, because learning is hard. We've all been there, We've all tried to learn new skills and struggled. It can be frustrating, daunting, and just plain challenging, especially when you're trying to change careers. We were seeing this was true for some of the students taking Zero to Mastery courses, and so we built this community for them. At the time of recording, the community consists of nearly 200,000 members who send around 45,000 messages each month. Members consist of current students, alumni, mentors, teacher's assistants and zero to master instructors. There is literally always someone online 24 hours a day to help you in your journey, no matter how beginner or experienced you are and no matter where you are in your journey. Better yet, there's almost guaranteed to be someone who has been in your shoes and experienced the feelings or situations you're feeling right now. And most importantly, they're willing to help. By joining the Zero to Mastery online community classroom, you can Connect with other developers, engineers, data scientists and designers. Form study groups and complete Zero to Mastery courses together. You can ask questions and get advice from other people at the same level as well as more experienced professionals. You can get feedback on projects and meet other students around the world and likely even someone from your own hometown. You can learn how to answer questions and help other students which will accelerate your own learning. You can get help from others with questions and exercises you can work on coding challenges and real world open source projects with other students. It's crazy to think that colleges and coding boot camps charge you tens of thousands of dollars to provide you with the same type of experience. We even did a survey recently and found that in fact, around 20% of Zero to Mastery students are also enrolled at a college or in-person coding boot camp, even though they're already paying so much to attend those institutions. So we must be doing something right. So what the heck is a Discord? For those of you that don't know, Discord is essentially a communications application specifically built for communities. Very similar to Slack if you're familiar with them. The ZTM community actually initially launched on Slack, but we had to move away because we quickly blasted past their message caps and it lacked some of the additional features that we really wanted to provide for the community. Discord is great for us because it allows us to do voice, video and text communications all into one application. They can also be run in most browsers, devices and operating systems. Without boring you too much or getting too deep into Discord itself, some of the things our students love most about our Discord server are the ability to have organized conversations with a variety of channels and categories, much like you would expect in a forum. The enhanced search functionality, enabling anyone to search and filter messages sent within the community over the years. The capacity for voice and video sessions, which are fantastic for impromptu live streams, peer support, 
discussion sessions, and even the occasional hangout. Okay, the history lesson's over. Now that we're all caught up on what Discord is and why we think it's great, let's finally dive into the Zero to Mastery community real time. I think the best place for us to start is here in the channel tray. This is where the different topics of conversation are broken down and organized into categories and channels. Here we have the Welcomes channel, which is a dedicated space to providing helpful information for new students joining the Zero to Mastery Discord. And this channel sits inside of the Welcomes and Introductions category, which you'll notice I can click to expand this category to show all the other channels contained within it. Our community has nine main categories in which channels are divided into, and these are Announcements, Welcomes and Introductions, General, Coding and Courses, Job Hunting, Live Coding, Coding Challenges, Group Projects, and Locals. Now, not every category and channel is going to be relevant for you at all times. Different ones become more useful and valuable to you throughout your learning and career journey. For example, a lot of Zero to Mastery students are looking to break into the tech industry and getting hired in a development role. So that job hunting category is a super useful and valuable category for them. However, for myself, the three categories I spend most of my time in are general, coding challenges and group projects. Let me give you a quick high level overview of each of the categories and I'll show you what they're all about. We'll start from the top and we'll work our way down. The announcement category is where any and all important announcements are posted by Andre himself and the team. These can be things like new course releases, job and recruitment opportunities and monthly updates. Andre also periodically features student successes, job offers, cool projects and even useful resources in the recaps channel as well. The welcome and introductions category, as I mentioned just a moment ago, provides useful information for new members and is also a great place to start meeting other community members right away. We highly encourage you to introduce yourself in the introductions channel, start connecting with other new community members and even form buddy or study groups, which is something I feel is super undervalued. I can't begin to explain how much I've benefited over the years from forming buddy groups to collaborate with on projects and share knowledge with. The general category contains, in my opinion, some of the most useful channels the community has to offer. I'll show you just a few quick examples that I personally enjoy, but they're all great. Dev resources. This channel is dedicated entirely to articles and resources fellow developers and students have found inspiring or useful. I should give a quick shout out to the Star Mentor team. You can see these people over here on the right hand side who do a great job at keeping this channel focused and clean of general chit chat, which is better for other channels. Discussion of the week. Every Monday, Andre and the team provide a topic for the community to discuss, and it always leads to some amazing, thoughtful discussions. The Help Me channel is dedicated to providing and receiving support on a variety of different questions and queries, often related to Zero to Mastery courses and projects, and the monthly Zero to Mastery coding challenges but also personal projects members are working on. Providing support and helping out your peers is also a great way to learn and solidify your own knowledge. Moving along to the coding and courses category, this section is great for connecting with other students learning similar topics as you, or taking the same Zero to Mastery course. With a wide range of channels in this category, they fall into a few broad buckets, specific topics that also have a dedicated Zero to Mastery course, such as machine learning or ethical hacking. Oh look, there's Daniel helping to solve a student's problem. He's our resident machine learning instructor. Each one of the Zero to Mastery instructors tends to be super strong in a specific field. For example, Daniel with machine learning and data structures. You can also see that unlike many other communities, our instructors are actually very active and engaged with students and helping answer questions pretty much every day. And then we have channels for languages such as Python and JavaScript. Frameworks such as React and Angular, runtime such as Node and Dino, and tools such as GitHub and the command line. What I find really awesome about these channels is not only the depth of conversation that happens around these subjects on a daily basis, but as I mentioned already, also how involved and engaged the instructors are. The job hunting category is pretty self-explanatory, but it's definitely helpful for many students whose ultimate goal is to get hired and change careers. 
There are plenty of fantastic discussions, advice, and even opportunities being shared each day in the job hunting, interview questions, and the freelancing channels. The Live Coding channel is a dedicated space for planned or impromptu live streams from star mentors, the community management team, or even other fellow community members, covering a wide range of subjects. The Coding Challenge category is another one of my favorites because I think it's very important that we challenge ourselves routinely so that we can continuously grow and improve as developers. This section currently has two challenges. The Code 100, where participants of the 100 Days of Code Challenge can post their progress and support other participants in their quest to reach 100 Days of Code. On a personal note, I got a little crazy and decided to do a Code365 challenge where I'm taking an hour each day to code on a personal project, which is definitely pushing my limits, but I hope that it inspires others as well. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then we have the coding challenges where Andre and the team release a new coding challenge at the beginning of each month. Participants in this event use this channel to discuss and support one another throughout the challenge. I highly recommend giving these challenges a go. There are some for every skill level so you can keep coming back as you learn more and more to challenge your knowledge. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find all of the previous challenges to join in. The Group Projects category is another awesome place to keep an eye on. The Group Project Chat channel is where you can discuss, find or create mini group projects with fellow students. There is also Current Projects, where occasionally you'll be able to join fellow Zero to Mastery students building an open source project with the intention of launching it into the real world. These projects are often planned, designed and led by fellow students with a little bit of guidance and direction from the Zero to Mastery team. Being able to work well on a team is an important skill to be successful as a web developer and something every employer will be looking for. So these group projects are not only great for building those skills but also a great way to be able to demonstrate them, to put them on your resume and talk about them during interviews. The locals are location based channels. You can make use of these channels by chatting with others in your local community or perhaps you have questions about the industry in a specific region or country. It's always so crazy to see students from literally all over the world. Well, we've already spent quite a bit of time together, so thanks for that. There's just one last thing I'd like to cover, which is to quickly show you what the different member roles are and what they mean. The management team are a group of volunteers some of which were the leading force behind the creation of the Discord community and have been a major influence on what it is today. For the most part, the management team works selflessly behind the scenes on a range of things from moderation to designing, creating and organising events and the various systems to support them. You can easily identify community managers in chat by the purple colour into their name, but you can also find online managers here in the management team section of the online user tray. The Star Mentors, much like the management team, are a group of volunteers that dedicate their time to helping the community flourish. Whether it be moderating, assisting students in need of help, maintaining our open source projects on GitHub, or generally helping around the community. You can easily identify Star Mentors in chat by the blue colour into their name. You can also find online mentors here in the Star Mentors section of the online user tray. Instructors also show up here in a reddish colour. Alumni are graduates who have posted their certificate of completion in the alumni channel. You can easily identify the alumni in chat by the orange colour into their name, but they also appear in the alumni section of the online member tray. And finally we have the members of the Zero to Mastery community. You can identify members in chat by the yellow colour into their name, but they also appear in the members section of the online member tray. And as you can see, there is over 8,000 members online right now. I hope this gives you a good overview of the infamous Zero to Mastery Discord community and gives you a little insight into why I and so many other community members consistently rave about it. Drop me a message in the comments and let me know what has you excited to join the community or if you're already a member, please leave a comment letting us know what your favourite aspects or channels are and why. I love reading what people enjoy about the community and honestly it helps the community team make more informed decisions on what and how to improve it. In fact, when you join the community and you write your introduction in the introductions channel like we discussed earlier, be sure to tag me and let me know you joined after watching this video. 
I'd love to come and personally welcome you. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really hope you found this useful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. Until next time, stay safe and happy coding.